Newcastle are scary. And it's not for the reasons you might think. And yeah, sure, their owners are the richest owners in football. But what they're doing isn't necessarily all because of that. It's not because they're just buying out the market like Todd Bowley at Chelsea's doing. They're actually scouting properly. They're making specific decisions on specific players and they're coupling that with great coaching and good tactics. Newcastle are scary because of the position that they're in and that they haven't overspent to be there yet. I guess I'd describe it like this. You have a kid with 10 sweets and a kid with a thousand sweets. The kid with 10 sweets is much less likely to give one of those sweets away. And if they do give it away, there's a lot of pressure for that sweet to be good and for the person who receives that sweet to enjoy it. Whereas the person with a thousand sweets will happily give that one sweet away. And it's not that much pressure. So the person who gets the sweet probably enjoys the sweet a little bit more because they've not got lots of eyes on them, pressuring them to tell them that they need to like it. And that's how I see Newcastle under Mike Ashley and now under the Saudi Arabia owners. Saudi Arabia have a thousand sweets. They don't care if one suite goes to something that doesn't necessarily work. Whereas Mike Ashley, when he bought something, all of the fans wanted that, that thing to work. They needed that thing to work. And I think we can see that through the development of some of the players that were here and were at Newcastle under Mike Ashley. You've got Joel Linton, you've got Almiron, you've got Willock who was bought by um uh, Mike Ashley you've got you've got Callum Wilson as well all of these players were brought under a lot of pressure because the money that was provided for them was possibly the only budget for that transfer window whereas now with the Saudi Arabia owners it's a bit less of an issue so they know that oh well if it doesn't work out we can always go out and, and buy another player. We can always go and get more. And because that pressure's lifted, coupled with Eddie Howe and his incredibly personable style of management, I think it works a lot better for Newcastle. So yes, there is an element of these new owners being the reason why Newcastle is playing that the way they are, but it's not because they're spending loads of money, it's because the money that they're spending has a lot less pressure attached to it and it's coupled with good scouting and good coaching. And that's why Newcastle are scary, because they're already playing at an incredibly high level and they haven't even spent that much yet. In the next few years, they could spend a whole lot more and become a truly big super team coupled with somebody who I believe will become a brilliant manager in Eddie Howe. We'll see how it goes, but it's getting worrisome for the Premier League right now.